Dominic Raab hit out at Angela Rayner for wanting Jeremy Corbyn to be Prime Minister during a grilling on national security. The Deputy Prime Minister lashed out at the Labour Deputy for questioning the UK's national security after she campaigned to have Jeremy Corbyn as leader. The Islington North MP had discussed how he wanted to end Trident and withdraw from NATO. Ms. Rayner asked, there's no ifs or buts when it comes to the safety of the British people so I ask the Deputy Prime Minister. Can he guarantee that the Prime Minister never asked anyone to urge the security services to revise, reconsider or withdraw their assessment of Lord Lebedev? Mr. Raab hit back, she wants to talk about national security, may I remind her she and her shadow cabinet colleagues wanted the Honourable Member for Islington North. A man who wanted and talked about abolishing the army, talked about abolishing Trident. She voted for that. Has there ever been a more ridiculous, reckless, naive moment to call for unilateral nuclear disarmament and pulling out of NATO? A Labour government would put our security at risk. It comes as it remains Ukraine's absolute right as a free nation to apply for NATO membership in the future, Conservative former leader Sir Ian Duncan Smith has said. Sir Ian told the Commons, can I ask my right honourable friend that as the brilliant Ukrainian people fight and die on a daily basis for their rights of freedom and democracy, it's important therefore that we make something very clear and I wonder if he would do this. They have asked for membership of NATO for a significant period and NATO has chosen not to give it to them. My concern now is no matter what they decide, it remains their absolute right as a free nation and a free people to make such an application in the future, and noticing that Finland is talking about being a member, that we treat them in exactly the same way as we would an application from Finland. Dominic Raab replied, he will have heard what President Zelensky has said overnight in relation to this. But one of the things that we have always been crystal clear as a government is that if there is a diplomatic offer and, I have to say we have a heavy measure of skepticism about whether Putin could ever fulfill such a deal, but if there is, it has to be done with the will and volition of the Ukrainian president and the Ukrainian people.